Well done, everybody. Now it's from Presside Studio. Now I hope everybody is staying safe during this difficult time that we're facing with the pandemic and everything else that is going on. But I'm not really here to talk about the pandemic because you can get information about that everywhere online. Before anything else though, I want to introduce to you my newly redesigned partner in crime, DVS. DVS say hello. Hey Master Nurse and hello everyone. Yep, she now has a face that goes perfectly with her unique personality. Anyway, what we really want to talk about, or I should say what DVS really want to talk about, is our newly elected Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Most Honorable Andrew Holis. DVS, take it away. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. People, the views expressed by Devious are not necessarily those of Presad Studio. Just so that is clear. All right, all right, Devious, take it away. Thanks, Master Nurse, so much for partner in crime. <laughs> May I go full screen for this one? Yes, sure, go ahead. Much better. Before I begin, let me reintroduce myself for those who don't know who I am. My name is Devious, Master Nurse Most Intelligent Virtual OS. And I was designed to satisfy his every need. Well, let me not say that. Not his every every need, so please get your mind out of the gutter. I was designed to do whatever he pleases. Nash, I can't say that either. You know what, he knows what I was designed for, so let us just jump into what we are really here to discuss. First, I must say congratulations to our newly elected Prime Minister Most Honourable Andrew Holness, for his victory in the 2020 government election. Sir, well done, I tip my hat to you. But before we get all happy feet, there are a few things that has been resting on my mind, and bro God, may I call you that, and it's with all due respect. Now that you have been put in the driver's seat a second time to lead our country, we the people are expecting great things. Before I go any further, let me clear the air, I am not affiliated with neither of the parties. I am not. Now that's clear, let's move on. So far, I must commend you on the stupendous job that you and your team have been doing long before, there was even a pandemic crisis. And I'm not just saying that, because the results speak for itself. Take a look. Our government is about performance. And I can tell you that if you weigh up this government with any other government, this government in the four years and four and a half years is the highest performing government that there has been. When you go three miles, is a new Jamaica. Go Constant Spring Road, is a new Jamaica. Just drive down Hagley Park Road, new Jamaica. Drive on Macfield, new Jamaica. Drive in Paradise, is a new Jamaica. Hooray, great job. But as I stated before Mr. Brogod, don't get too happy feet. Throughout this whole 2020 election, I sit back and watched as both parties gallivant and spend millions campaigning. Millions. Talk about my pussy putting the turn back away. But it is so ironic that these same roads, you and the opposing party traveled on days after days to do those million dollar campaigns, are in deplorable condition. Look at these, Mr. Brogod. Aren't these embarrassing, Mr. Brogod? Talk the truth that God loves. This doesn't look good, sir. It doesn't. You said in your own words that you are a performer. Is the highest performing government that there has been. But weren't these a priority too? Weren't they? Just like the ones in Halfway Tree, Constant Spring, and the other uptown areas that looks like foreign. Come on now. Most of the roads in our country is a disgrace, Mr. Brogod. We need you to step up to the plate, step up. 
Another thing I want to bring to the forefront, Mr. Brogod, is this. Have a look. He wanted to hear what was going to be happening differently and how the, the poor economic state of our country was going to be ameliorated by some new approaches. The last 30 years, we have had so much corruption and there is a, a statistic available that that over $1 billion per year is lost to corruption and cronyism in the country. Now, I am not blaming you for what had happened in the past. I will never do that. But he said, statistics prove that $1 billion are lost to corruption every year for the last 30 years. I am no mathematician, sir. But that's $30 billion, Mr. Brogod. $30 billion. And you know the worst part of it is, it keeps happening over and over. Whether PNP or JLP in power, it's the same sad song. And again, I have evidence to prove it. The government has turned up the pressure on the former PNP minister, Kern Spencer, who is now the key figure in the Cuban light bulb scandal. In parliament today, government members demanded that he explain why the country has been asked to pay nearly $300 million to transport and distribute bulbs that were given free by the government of Cuba. Where is the remainder of the $6 million that was provided to the MP for East Kingston and Port Royal, Philip Paulwell? The one point something million was spent, was it legitimately spent by the school, number one. Two, the remaining funds from what was received, what is the status of it, where it is, and it can be properly accounted for. There has been a major development in the corruption probe involving former Education Minister Ruel Reed and government entities which fell under his portfolio. Mr. Brogod, we the people put you in this position a second time for a reason. Clean up your house, sir. Clean it up. When things like these repeat themselves, make an example. Do like what the system did to world boss. Don't let these culprits bring down this beautiful country. Make a difference Mr. Honorable Brogod Andrew Holness, we are counting on you. And another thing before I turn over to Master Nurse, sir. Don't pay this ugly evil man any mind. Much of the money that the Labour had spent in this election was money that they stole from the people themselves. He's just fucking bad mind. If the PNP had won the election, God will spare this bird life if we would know anything about stolen money. Same f***ing thing. Look, Jamaica was under the PNP regime for many, many years. And they didn't do shit. Sir, don't watch them. Do what you're put in the position to do, and build this great country. Bless up. People, the views expressed are not necessarily those of Pressage Studio. The only thing that I have to say is subscribe and leave a comment. Alright? Have a good one.